Salesforce Dynamic Picklist. So you might already be using Salesforce Dynamic Picklist, but if you haven't, when you use Salesforce Dynamic Picklist, you can ensure that your respondents are seeing the up-to-date information that you have in your Salesforce org. You can then pull in more information into your form based on the fields you are returning in your Dynamic Picklist setup. So let me share my screen again, and we can go ahead and take a look at how that setup looks like in your form. Okay. Before we get into the use case too much, I just kind of want to go over the setup of a Salesforce Dynamic Picklist. Um, I believe this one's already set up, but we can go back and go through. So obviously, selecting my authorization. And then with Salesforce Dynamic Picklist, the great option is I can choose to get a picklist field directly from Salesforce, or I can use one of these object lookups where I can then select the object I would like to search in this case, I'm going to choose campaign. Um, that's going to be my object I'm searching through. So I can use a Salesforce Dynamic Picklist to search through all the campaigns I have in my Salesforce. And how I do that is by first selecting name so that my respondents see the name of the campaign. And then also, I'm going to pre-fill into the form the campaign ID and volunteers still needed. That campaign ID will make it so much easier when I'm going back through to create the Salesforce connector because then I can directly relates the campaign accurately using that campaign ID. And then this volunteer is still needed is going to be a formula field in my Salesforce. So I can easily see, my respondents can easily see how many spots are still available and whether they can select that or not. And then finally, I have this condition so that it only shows those campaigns that are in progress. So my respondents aren't selecting anything that they can. Then the final step of setup is clicking next and just mapping those extra fields that I have to the appropriate fields in the form. Once you have that all set up, we can click, oh, it signed me out. That's okay. I've got it really, I've already got it loaded here. So once we come here to the form, it's just this volunteer registration form and the, my respondents can enter in their information and then they can come here and select the volunteer opportunity they would like to see. So they can see, oh, okay, I can still sign up for this event or not. And just really quickly see everything that they need to hear. Now, this is just one of the examples you can use to use the Salesforce Dynamic Picklist to your advantage. Really get that information from your Salesforce in a easy to use format on your form. And I'd love to see and hear some of the examples you've got, Kayla, because you've got some cool ones. Oh gosh, yeah, dynamic pick lists are a real fun one. Um, yeah, for those who don't know, um, I'm obsessed with like the form assembly Salesforce combo pack. It's one of my favorite things. Dynamic pick lists are a hugely wonderful example of that. So they're they're very flexible, which is great. Um, so remember, they can actually they can either pull in a pick list from Salesforce and be like a dynamic pick list, or it can dynamically create a pick list from your located records that you find with the lookup. So you have those two different types, right? So if you have a pick list, for example, like in Salesforce, something that needs to be kind of updated on a regular basis, and especially if it needs to be updated on multiple forms, it's so nice being able to kind of pull in those options as they're updated in Salesforce to the numerous forms. Um, so I've seen them for everything from events to course registrations, um, you know, so many things like lists of departments, uh, lists of contacts who you can reach out to if that's changing more regularly it gets really, really cool. Um, so I love that you can use it for basically anything where you need a selection list that's going to be updating along with your Salesforce data, uh, whether that be a pick list or whether you're creating the pick list with stuff from Salesforce, um, especially since you can, you know, use forms, uh, fields in your form to change the options in that pick list.